Good morning. It's the morning, but I haven't technically been to bed yet. I couldn't fall asleep. And then I decided to vlog, so I'm probably gonna do that, the vlogging, and then go to sleep. When I was downstairs, I was like, oh, vlog, edit, post it, I'm not tired. And now that I'm upstairs in my room where I normally do my sleeping, I'm pretty, I'm pretty fucking tired. Do you ever have nights where you just can't Sleep. I feel like you're so far away from me. Is that better? I had every intention of posting something on Friday, but I didn't because I spent the entire day knitting a knit for hire project that is due on Friday. Like it needs to be in the client's hand on Friday, which means I need to put it in the mail and plenty of time for it to get to the client by Friday. This is the back of it. I can't show you the front because I've been asked not to take pictures of it until their whole, what they're gonna do with it is done and they have that set up, if that makes sense. But these are words on the right side. They're words, it's gonna say something. This has been my entire weekend. And not just the knitting either, but taking the picture that they sent me and making a chart out of it that I could then work from to knit. I need to stop rubbing my eyes. Other knit for hire projects that I've been working on recently is uh, this is one of them. I really like this a lot. I'm really happy with how this has been coming out. It's a Chumpacombra from a game called Wild Star, I think. You will have eyes eventually and feet and a tail and some antenna. I'm also making a white one. This is the pelt. It will look like that and then its teeth will be all Rawr. I've also made some pouches. These are for my aunt. She only wanted one, but this is my own design and I'm kind of obsessed with getting it as correct as possible. Normally with something like this, you would start from the bottom and you would go back and forth until you had a square. I started from the corner and went wah. The whole thing is one piece. I didn't knit two separate pieces and then attach a flap. I knit the whole thing from corner to the opening and then the flap, it's all one piece. You'll notice the first one I did, the corner's all droopy. And I said, no, I don't like that. So then this is the second one I did where I was trying to account for the droopy corner. And I did a good job, except that the sides are really narrow. And then this is the last one I did. It's more square overall, but the corner's still a little bit droopy and I had to stop myself from making a fourth damn pouch. And this is just something I made a long time ago. It is a, it's bubble gum with a face. This is not knit, it is crochet. And I'm going to shamelessly plug the other Etsy store I have where there's this and a few other crochet foods with faces sewn onto them, if that's your thing. They're big and cuddly, squishy, and the faces are very durable. So that's, that's some stuff that I've done with my hands. Do you want to be in the vlog? You're the queen of this windowsill. What are you doing? She's doing her backing up dance. Baby girl looks out the window to the world below. This mask makes me say things in a weird way. I'm definitely ready for bed now. Ah, yeah.